Bifrost team, you are wonderful. Thank you very much. And now today, and we have our like 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 the show today, and we have Li Diming and Hong Ruochen. And if you are always, you know, with them, you know, on the line team, and、uh, you will know that he always gives us like wonderful information here. And the、uh, AI technology is always a、uh, like an enterprise enterprise like in our international. Stage right, and、uh, if you ask me like how many awards you know do, do they have, and I will say this more than like a hundred right, okay. And who is the graphic designers, and we have a lot of wonderful volunteers, you know, doing such good graphic designing here. And before we. Have uh, like uh, Li Diming, and let's、uh, take a look at, at、uh, what is all about. All right, and、uh, we have this multifunctional solar energy inflatable light. And、uh, if we are in a security party, then you will know how difficult the job is, right? Especially when we are doing this like a、uh, research and the the, the 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 relief job during the night. And if we have the like a solar energy inflatable light. And we need just like a USB cable, and we just connect it to the USB port, and we can just use the solar energy, and we can just take it as the light, and it is like awarded like for like a Taiwan Excellence Award. So it is really really important that we have a light during the night, okay, especially when we are doing a relief work. So this is important, and if you use it as like a Night light and it is just wonderful, and as well, it is also a pillar for you. Okay, when you do exercise. So this is the compassion technology, and、uh, we are so grateful that we can have it right. And now we also have to take care of our eyes, right? So let's take a look at this. And、uh, if you feel like a like an eyesore, then we have an eco far, okay, like like a warm pad right here, and、uh, we can just use it. And well, and、uh, through the image, then you will know this is、uh, easy to use, right? And、uh, it is really portable, and、uh, you can just、uh, have like a three temperature settling、uh, adjustment, and、uh, you can also arrange like how much time you need、uh, to take care of your eyes, right? And、uh, this is wonderful. This is our new product on, like,、uh, okay, from like dye technology. And here, this is a pair of shoes that I think that you already have, right? Because it's a part of our uniform. And when you wear them, then you will feel this is kind of comfortable. And we have also the dye, like an anti-bacterial hand cream. Well, we have a virus in our air, and、uh, you have to wash your hands. I know during a pandemic, and it makes your hands like itchy and crack. This is so we have like anti, like like a vegetarian, like a hand cream. Okay, so especially when we are doing a relief job in the disaster areas, we have water and hand cream is kind of a must for us to take care of our hands, right? And it protects also our hands from getting cracked or itchy. And we add like a five different essences inside this, and the essences can just protect your hand, and they will just relieve your mind. And all the money that we have for when you buy the product, and we will donate the money and do the relief. Job internationally, and this is all about our hand cream. Okay, and all the products from the I take knowledge, and we will donate every single dollar to charity. And we see a lot of people who are helpless, and we hope that we can just do a little bit things and deliver hope. And we invite all the people and to do the good deeds and let's collect the love and collect the fund and let's do something exactly and help people who are in need. So wherever you are, and we have a Dai Technology, and we need your hand and support us. And the Dai Technology are really is really awarded many times. Okay. And corporate social responsibility, and it's been the fifth year, and the Dai Technology showed around this responsibility, and this is therefore Dai Technology is awarded. 
So you know, we also promote the eco-friendly and and the products, and we also have like a circular economy and a DAI. You know, technology is also award more than a hundred like times, right? And it's been the twelfth year, and、uh, we again, the AI technology has been awarded for more than a hundred times, right? And let's、uh, take a walk, and it got the golden medal, golden award, and、uh, this is the plastic wooden, and、uh, the designing is done by the jet color, okay, water color. And、uh, it, it is all pollution free, okay. And this is a kind of a light box with uh, all the like like a reusable material. And、uh, this is the same as the like a blanket. And、uh, the light box will just light it up like itself, okay. When we are there, and、uh, we reduce the waste, okay. And、uh, we. We just follow up the idea, like a cradle to cradle, and we extend the lives of all the materials, right? And、uh, therefore, we got a golden medal, okay, in the invention of Taiwan. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a big hand. And also, by the way, we also have the protective gong, and it is a hundred percent like an eco-friendly made from like a plastic bottles. And we use like new technology, and we just paste on some kind of coating against the virus and like like a pollutions. So this is a very very good like a protective gong, okay, on people's body against all the viruses and the bacteria. And this is a base, and it is about a hundred grams. And、uh, it can just help、uh, like a security parties when they are doing the rescue like, like a rescue jobs, right? And、uh, we can carry like、uh, instant noodles, like、uh, pens and、uh, notebooks, right? With them, okay, when they have to go outside. And、uh, we also have、uh, this like a backpack, okay. And、uh, we also add、uh, like the formal wheels on it、uh, for us to. You know, carry them very easily. So I don't know whether you like all the products from our DAI technology, and I will say they are very important. And this is kind of a heartwarming invention for us, right? Okay. And let's understand all the inventions, all the ideas. Okay, from compassion, please, right? Okay. And、uh, and let's talk about the young here. And as Mr. Zheng Yan says, right? Okay. And she says that when we are like、uh, dressed up, and、uh, in Chinese, like a、uh, clothes also means blessed. So when we are dressed up, when we wear like clothes, and、uh, we have to be decent, and、uh, we have to be also comfortable, of course, right? Okay. So I will keep running this film, and we can see the images, and you will see how elegant and decent when we wear the clothes, okay, made, okay, by like the eye technology. And right here, and we have Di Ming and Rose Chen, and here are our volunteers from our humanitarian team in Kaohsiung. And、uh, we know that because of the pandemic, that you can't come over to Kaohsiung, but we are still here. Okay, looking forward to your lecture and the presentation. So we have something to say, ladies and gentlemen. Good day. And I know that okay, the idea of the AI technology is that let's coexist with the earth, right? And we turn garbage into gold, and we turn useless into useful things, right? And、uh, we care about、uh, our environment, and although we are spending money and we are consuming the the earth resources, at the same time we are also doing the. Protection on our environment, and this is the power of a DAI technology.
and uh, we are really honored because you know we are part of the volunteers. Okay, for like the AI technology, right? So let's carry out our love and uh, safeguard the, our Earth, right? And this is a wonderful job and a wonderful mission for us, right? Thank you very much, Di Ming and Rosen. And I believe that、uh, you are really, really grateful also to our like humanitarian team in Gaoshan. Okay, and this is a wonderful team, and、uh, they really work hard doing everything to promote、uh, not only vegetarianism but、uh, also the eco-friendly idea, right? And、uh, it is as Mr. Zheng Yan says that we have to cooperate and、uh, do everything in a harmonious way. So they are working hard, right? So now let's take a look at、uh, who is here with us online today. And of course, right, let's see me and Rosen. I like to be with you because you have a positive energy. So let's go, right? You are here. I know that. The me and the Rosen. And Mayun and、uh, everyone online. Good day. So can you hear me? Oh yes. Okay. So I'll just do the double check. Can you hear me, everyone? Yeah, clear. Please, you can begin talking now. Thank you. And because of a pandemic, and、uh, I, I, I can't just go to Gaoshan from Taipei. So let's me stay online, right? And it's been two years since the COVID nineteen broke out, right? And we, I, I think, you know, we also need to create like a new ideas, and of course, like a soul does, like a that I take the knowledge, okay? And、uh, we really have to promote the like a eco friendly ideas. And uh, like like an eco environment protection and the disaster prevention education, of course, right? Okay. And during the pandemic, so、uh, what has AI technology done so far? So let's take a look, and、uh, you will see like、uh, some numbers here, and、uh, they are thirty two, fourteen, and fifty six, right? What do they mean? And fourteen actually in the middle means it's been the fourteenth years since like the AI technology has、uh, established, and、uh, we also. Extend、uh, the relationship and the、uh, cooperations with like、uh, more than two hundred enterprises, right? And thirty-two on the left means that it's been the thirty-second year since our, our like a、uh, environmental protection recycling job began, right? And the volunteers find the value of life, okay, when they do the recycling job. And、uh, they put what Mr. Zheng Yan says into action and、uh, protect our like Earth, and this is all the results that we see, right? Okay. And the fifty-six, of course, means that the, it's been the fifty-six since Shiji was established in nineteen, like like sixty-six, right? And、uh, this is a wonderful organization with beauty, with compassion, okay. And、uh, I'm very grateful that you know, we can okay follow up Mr. Zheng's idea, and、uh, we can also okay do the charity jobs okay, and、uh, we can also okay do something to protect the earth right, and this is wonderful. So we can. Do something and、uh, have the cooperation with、uh, some other business, and within the thirty-two years of the recycling mission, and aside from some relevant like like、uh, governmental, like 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 a spas, and、uh, we also have the okay recycling like a spas. In all the Jin Si Ho in Taiwan, and of course, then we will have recyclable resources, right? And they are what that technology is going to use, right? And of course, then we turn them into like a valuables, like like a products, right? And here, and let me tell you that we also have、uh, like like a、uh, Cici Junior High School in Tainan, and we also do the recycling job there. And we also promote the like eco-friendly, which is like an environmental protection idea there. 
and uh, we will just do the design and uh, and some other like a work share. Okay, so people will know more about Suji in Tainan, and not only in Taiwan. We also do this. Overseas, including Hong Kong, Philippines, China, Indonesia, etc., and uh, during the pandemic, and uh, we also introduce such ideas and uh, and have some interactions online with all the communities internationally. And it is very important that we we can just talk face to face, but we meet online with everyone. So I'm also grateful. To all the people around the world, and、uh, this is a chance for that I take a knowledge, and we also have for some volunteers from UN, and we also promote our like ideas, okay, into UN. So we let the world understand what Zhi and the Dai Technology is doing, okay. And of course, as Mr. Zheng Yan says, right, okay, let let's just okay purify the world from its very beginning, like sources, of course, right. And next, and Rosen has been doing a lot. In Dai Technology, and she also has a lot of like staff and volunteers, and they're doing a lot of like jobs protecting our earth. Okay, for us, right? And、uh, she also okay promotes such ideas in Philippines. And this is really like like a touching. And she also promotes like、uh, such ideas in like a Zhiji Junior High Schools. So now let's have Rosen, and、uh, although this is kind of a COVID nineteen, and、uh, we have a pandemic in the world, but、uh, she never stopped her steps doing such jobs, right? Ladies and gentlemen, good day. And I think you feel kind of surprised, right? And, and、uh, why? Why I talk about the Philippines with you today, right? And in nineteen ninety five. I had the affinity going to Philippines with Grandpa Lee, and、uh, he invited、uh, almost like a thirty like senior volunteers in the Philippines, and therefore I was one of them. So I had the chance visiting visiting the Philippines there, and on the way there. And some senior volunteers like、um, Mummy G, okay, talk about their own experience, right? And it was more than twenty years ago, and、uh, we already had the Ciji there, Ciji branch offices in there, and it is the reason that we had to go there and know something overseas. And I can speak Japanese. Therefore, I originally wanted to go to Japan and promote Mr. Zheng Yan's idea in Japan. But I also thought that Japan is a paradise, right? And I also have some relatives in the Philippines. Therefore, finally, I just decided to do something in the Philippines, and it is therefore. I went there and、uh, chose to take care of the volunteers in the Philippines, and I had a chance to have the clinic—I mean, free clinic there. And I went there with a lot of doctors in the free clinic in the Philippines, and the clinic. Was really wonderful because you know we had to serve more than three thousand patients here, and from the pictures, then you would know that we had to walk, okay, to the plant, okay, when we are are ready to go abroad, all right, okay, and you will see like how many volunteers are waiting to take the flight, okay, to the Philippines, right? So you see how big. The free clinic team was right, okay, and you can also see from the picture that we have Si Yue with us. 
And previously, we got everything ready the day before we set off. And as we arrived in the Philippines, we borrowed, you know, wherever we can borrow as the site, as a spot for the free clinic. And for all the equipments, and of course, right, we had to just settle them up, okay, and we have to do everything by ourselves in the Philippines. And we had a, a, a lot of uh, like like uh, like uh, services like uh, we have like uh, like like a uh, surgeon here uh, we have uh, like a uh, dentist here and uh, we also have uh, like uh, eye doctors here and see so we had uh, to serve patients in many ways right to relieve their pains and if we uh if we were lack of some kind of equipment and we went into the hospital and the borrow the equipment right okay and this is the picture okay of a dentist and his patient why i talk about this picture because you know i still remember the patient the lady's teeth was really difficult to be extracted so and you will see the patients with the cactus and the eye doctor was taking care of all the patients with the cactus. And the next day they became very happy because you know they had the like 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 an operation and the surgery. And it means that they are getting more and more healthier. Okay, so all the volunteers are also waiting outside there doing activities and they are lighting up and they are doing some like a group activities and sing some Siji songs, right? And it is also a very, very wonderful like uh, interactions with all the patients there. Okay. Uh, the sister, she say, uh, she was already 70 years old and she have, she thought that uh, she uh, she still owed to a shoulder heavy responsibility responsibility of Tsuji in Philippines. So she thought she would like uh, Xiao Zhen, Sister Xiao Zhen, to take the responsibility responsibility over. And it's very often to see that. Uh, it's very often to see um, when we do the free clinic outreach in the Philippines, we see so many children, so they suffer from various uh, disease. And they need to have a surgery right away because that's the only, maybe be, they need to travel uh, days to the the site where we offer free clinic and that might be the only time the only chance in their life for these poor people to get a surgery so our surgeon and on our team 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 they um they would no matter how difficult the situation is they would uh operate the surgery sometimes in the school or sometimes it's in a very uh hard to imagine how difficult the situation was we had surgery not in a hospital uh, but in a, this is in a school, in a, in a classroom, we have surgery and we have patients waiting there. And this, uh, no matter how old the, uh, the volunteers are, uh, they, uh, they have to work day and night to help uh, taking care of the patients after the surgery. 
in the Philippines, and sometimes they need to not only take care and comfort them, and also the volunteer need to um, clean up the wound and apply the medi medicine on the wound. And, and this picture, and this it was taken by Brother Shelton, who has already passed away. And this is a, a very typical situation happened in Philippine Tima uh, Friend Clinic outreach um, because the doctor need to work very long hours uh, um, for, for the operation. So uh, they feel very tired and their shoulders are very tight and their feet are swollen. So they need um, massage from volunteers. The doctors need massage from volunteers. Otherwise, they could not. Of they, uh, they would under too much pressure and stressful to uh, to continue their operation. So, uh, this year, the uh, Philippine Tima team invite. Um, invite other uh, team uh, team from other country uh, the, uh, those volunteers I mentioned that over 70 years old, they were uh, they uh, still working on the team uh, as a volunteer to help the patients. Now they are over 90 years old and they are still uh, working in the city as volunteers. I'm very grateful for them to, uh, to give me this opportunity to experience the uh, Tima, how much the Tima work in the Philippines to help the poor in remote area. Uh, in the dentist team, uh, I was 40 years old and I saw 40, a, a patient who was 40 years old and I was 40 years old. I have healthy teeth, but I thought I saw that patient, um, the, the, her, her teeth had a cavity and all kinds of problems. So the doctor had to, re, to remove all her teeth. So I, I thought after I saw that case, I was, I realized how fortunate I was. I, uh, I'm very grateful that I was so fortunate, I'm so blessed, blessed that I have the ability to be able to help others. I'm not a person who needs help. In the past, in the past, 30, 13th of May, uh, uh, there's a national exam for the junior high school students in Taiwan, and there are students who were confirmed cases of COVID-19. And so um, the, the, the students, pay, the confirmed cases, students, patients, they were, the, their pay, parents were very anxious. So they need, uh, they need the uh, team, team, our medical professions to take care of them. Uh, we also sent uh, the CG herbal tea uh, for the COVID-19 patients. And we, um, we loaded um, packet, um, uh, we loaded the package for the patients 
uh, with herbal tea and also um, the thermostat. And we gave them uh, some uh, food and porridge and all kinds of material, daily necessities for the, uh, for the patients. And some students, they confirm cases, COVID cases, students, they say, they uh, apologize that they uh, uh, make uh, their parents and relatives and people who care about them worry about them. And that's all my sharing. Thank you for listening. Uh, thank you, Sister Ro Chen, for sharing. Uh, she has uh, so much more uh, stories to share, but today the uh, time is limited. And what she what she wanted to express is that uh, the true feelings of what she has experienced and what she has done in CG, and she participated in uh, not only the eye technology development, she also participated in uh, compassion and relief work and medical uh, team, team a team in the world to release the suffering and not only to uh, relieve the suffering of physical body and also comforting the refugees' heart and patients' heart by heartwarming uh, actions and take good care of the people who are in need and hope that one, one day they will become the person uh, who will be able to help others. They don't need to, uh, they don't need uh, help from others anymore. We hope that one day uh, people who receive help will be able to turn their the love to others. And uh, we are very grateful for Master Jian and CG Volunteer for the great love they offered to us. And we already have an uh, important innovation. The first, first one is that we cooperate with, work with easy car cooperation. We, they hope that their car is a very popular uh, car that um, used in Taiwan. They hope that uh, they could use the car with material, recyclable material. And we were not, we, we, at first we, we received this project, we were not uh, confident that we will be able to, um, to succeed in our innovation. But finally, we put into great effort and we resolve the issues. And, and we also work with the Gokoro company, uh, the, the scooter, the electric, electrical scooter company in the Taiwan. We also work with them and, and their seat, the saddle seat and the Google scooter. Uh, we also use uh, uh, dye technology recyclable material. Uh, this is uh, our new innovation in year 2020. Uh, our management team is compiling the uh, report of uh, corporate responsibility in the society and uh, our report from Dai TV, Dai Technology and uh, in the last year, we are very grateful that the technology has worked with uh, 
uh, work with CG, uh, work with Foxconn to uh, to purchase BNT vaccine for the residents in the in Taiwan. Uh, Dai Technology also make a donation for uh, we offer our donation. We are very grateful that we have the opportunity to be able to uh, work with Foxconn and City Foundation to purchase the vaccine for the citizens of Taiwan. And Today, uh, we, uh, I, uh, I bring a little gift for everyone. Uh, it's a golden award we just received. It's a whistle. Although it's a plastic, uh, uh, from the PP recycle, the PP bags recycle, plastic recycle. Uh, we make this. Uh, we make this whistle. Let's take a look at the screen. You can see that everyone get this a little gift as a whistle. Uh, when there's an emergency, you can blow blow in this whistle. Oh, uh, because it, it can make a very loud noise when you encounter emergency situation, and there's a alerting loud noise. Uh, so, uh, and hope that every one of us are don't underestimate your potential, and every one of us had the put in. Uh, gather our little efforts and we unite our heart and hold our hands together uh, we will make a big difference in the whole in the whole world and and hope that everyone have a harmonious family and healthy uh, healthy body and hope that we will all sustain through this pandemic era and we are very grateful for this couple uh, from Dai Technology. Uh, uh, we didn't know that this whistle was golden, uh, re received golden award for innovation. And this uh, whistle was, uh, they are blowing this whistle. They are blowing the whistle. And this, this whistle is made from um, the recycled PE bags in Kaohsiung. And you can carry this with you, very lightweighted, and it's a name, there's a name tag on it. Um, and it's, the size is very small, and you can carry with you and it's very, uh, you can use it at an emergency situation to, uh, to sound alerting voice to raise people's attention. And this is a golden award innovation product. And the eye technology not only uh, make it effort in innovation in recycling technology, they also uh, uh, make up this uh, comforter uh, that is uh, comforting many people, uh, many refugees hurt and warm up their body um, in the cold weather. Uh, Ruo Chen, Sister Ruo Chen is like a Guan Yin Bodhisattva. She, she is very um, loving and kind and listening to her sharing is very comforting. And the technology is 
is a very, make a benefiting the whole world and sus, make the sustainability possible for to love the part to love the mother earth and 2000 2020 uh the, Brother Ding Ming said, uh, you, uh, the Thai Technology received a award for over a hundred items, uh, all kinds of awards is uh, too many to mention in uh, right now. Uh, Thai Technology is a compassionate technology company uh, they that they use all the recycling material for the uh, uh, to make the goods for daily necessities. And when I listened to their sharing, I saw Gogoro on the I uh, on the TV on the screen. I was very surprised. Gogoro is a very popular electrical scooter in Taiwan, and I. I was very uh, surprised to see that I cannot agree to work with Google company. It's a great job. Thank you, Thai Technology. Thank you. And let's blow the whistle again. And Okay, thank you for uh, Ding Ming and uh, Rotten's uh, good sharing, and, and thank you for the uh, the whistle. So let's uh, let's check it out again. Thank you. It's a wonderful gift. So it's a good decision to come to the Kaohsiung Jing Soho. And uh, you are so welcome to visit 